Alrighty, so today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to make an instant infusoria culture. As you can see behind me, I've got a ton of tanks. I breed a ton of fish here in my fish room. And in amongst my breeding program are a ton of species that produce tiny fry. Fry that are too small to eat baby brine shrimp and even my prepared foods. So right now I'm breeding up some gouramis and I tell you what, these fry are teeny tiny. I normally like to feed these bug buffet because it crushes up to a nice powder, but the fry are just too small. So I've had to resort to infusoria and I've made a video on infusoria before. It's a little bit too complicated in my opinion. I found some way easier ways to do this. So let me show you exactly how I do it. So the process for creating infusoria is super simple. Basically what we're trying to do is get a ton of the tiny microscopic organisms and single celled organisms that are growing in your tank to culture themselves so that we can feed it to the tiny fish. There's a million ways that people do this and I think a lot of people kind of overcomplicate this. I had this idea when I was squeezing out a filter, why not just feed this to my fish because inside of our filter is an entire ecosystem in itself. All these little bacteria is breaking down the organics of our tank and turning it into an ecosystem and in our filters is just a ton of goodies for feeding to tiny fish. Bacterias, infusorias, cyclops, all sorts of just random things that I don't even know about, but they're in here. So what we'll find is a dirty tank. You can even do this with your tank. And what we're gonna do is just take a bucket of tank water and squeeze a filter into it. So, siphon some water into here. And there's like a really nasty filter in here that I'm gonna squeeze into this container. So take about that much water. I'm going to grab this filter out. You can see there just how nasty it is. It's all full of just fish poop and waste. I haven't cleaned this filter for a while. It doesn't need to be this dirty. Like you just need an aged tank and your filter will be good enough. But all we're going to do is squeeze this junk into here. And there's going to be millions of infusoria in this filter. And you can see how the water's changing color. It's all that dirt and poop in there and this is actually gonna become a culture. So all that poop is actually gonna break down and provide a food source for the infusorias. And you'll be surprised, this culture will last for months. So that's basically it. I'll squeeze out the filter as you can see. We'll put it back in the tank. And then this will become my infusoria culture. So it looks like disgusting chocolate milk at the moment. Literally all I do is leave this in my room the room sits at about 24, 25 degrees Celsius. So yeah, I just, I just leave it. What we're gonna do is just leave this bucket for like 20 minutes. All the muck and solids are gonna fall to the bottom and then we can skim off the top and feed it to our fish. So it's been about 20 minutes since we made the culture and you can see it settled down a little bit. It's gonna settle a lot over the next few days. Pretty much the whole top is gonna become crystal clear and then there'll just be like a layer of sludge down the bottom. And that layer of sludge is what's gonna feed your culture. So just leave it, you can stir it up, whatever. It's just literally a bucket of dirty water and that's what's gonna be our culture. So the way you feed this is, I can feed this at this stage. I literally just take a cup and then skim the top like that. You'll have like this milk. And if you look closely in here, this is where all those little microorganisms are gonna be. After that, I'll just go along the top of the water and pour it in. I don't find you can overfeed this too much. Like I try and just maybe once or twice a day feed this and it seems to work really well. So we'll just go over the top to our little gouramis and they'll love this. So they'll eat this for the first few days of their life. Then they'll eventually grow up and eat something a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's just a little breeder's trick here. I wish someone had made this video for me when I started breeding some of these trickier fish. 